Recent research from a number of latrine programmes has shown that on average 40% of women do not use the latrines we provide. This is clearly a problem that needs to be addressed and there are a number of simple steps that can be taken to overcome the issues. We ask Andy Bastable, Head of Water and Sanitation at Oxfam, for some top tips. So one of the key reasons that women aren't using the latrines is because they don't want to be seen actually in the latrine and they want to feel safe. So we want to construct safe and dignified latrines. And one of the key components of this is having internal locking mechanisms that are durable and can last for a long time. Okay. Right. So a common type of kind of good quality lock is this bolt lock that just bolts straight into the hole. Um, another type is the hook into an eyelet. So the problem is, over time, the wood of the door frame warps and it distorts, or the hinges are loose and the door doesn't fit anymore, leaving gaps, especially gaps lower down, um, which are kind of very undesirable if you're using the toilet. So um, kind of the bolts um, kind of don't fit anymore. So the bolt is supposed to go in the hole, but you can't get it in the hole anymore because the wood is warped. The same with the hook. Um, the hook no longer fits in the eyelet anymore um, because of the wood warping. So a very simple solution to this is to not drill a hole through the wood frame, put a knot of string on the outside um, and then not on the inside and then you come in, you pull it closed and then you wrap it round the nails in some arrangement. The door is closed. Um, you can do it with thinner string rather than rope and again wrap it round. Um, that's simple um, and kind of a wire. So some people put a, a hook on the end of the wire but that has a problem if the door continues to warp um, then you still can't fit the hook on it. So it's best to have very thin wire where it's very easy to actually kind of bend it round the nail therefore you have a closed door. There are many simple solutions to the design problems we encounter and next time we're going to be asking Andy about the materials we can use to ensure maximum privacy for our users. So stay tuned.